today we're going to check out this gorgeous style by Henry Margu. This is Hope in 626H. You can find this at Wig Studio One if you drop below the video and expand the description box. I'll attach a direct product link. It'll be labeled Henry Margu's Hope at Wig Studio One. When you click the link, it'll take you out to the site and you can see all of the colors and the pricing on this style. If you have any questions, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. And don't forget to visit the private Facebook group called the Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. Hope by Henry Margu. It is gorgeous. It's a long, lush, layered style. It has some shag elements to it, which I think is ultimately so flattering. It has an easy to wear fringe and appeal to it. Overall, it's about 17 to 18 inches. I love these shag elements. Uh, so each one of those layers kind of has a flip or a flare to it. It's been texturized on the ends, which gives it a light wispy look, movement and appeal. So flattering. And I love this easy to wear fringe. This is one long style that is truly a shake and go or plug and chug wig style, as I like to say. It features an open cap and there's a little bit of a monofilament piece right there at the crown. The silhouette is just spectacular on this. Hope is made with regular synthetic fiber, so it is not heat friendly. It does have a nice lush density. So it's an, it's an average to heavy density but the way the fibers flip and bend, it doesn't feel heavy on the head at all. Now there is a lot of permatease on this one. Henry Margu really likes to use permatease. It's done strategically to help sustain the volume and the lift and the profile of this style. My goodness, the movement is spectacular. I just feel so feminine and pretty in this. And don't you just adore this deep brunette, the 626H. So the base color here is going to be an, a deeper neutral brown. So medium to dark brown, and then it's going to be highlighted with a gold blonde, a pale gold blonde, actually. It's not enough to really warm up this color a lot. Um, it actually acts quite neutral, I think. You're going to see a lot of those highlights sprinkled around the face. One thing about Henry Margu is that they place their highlights in a way that is uh, most strategic and flattering for that particular style. So this color 626H might look a little bit differently on a shorter style. I don't have this color on too many styles, but it is beautiful. You can really, really pump up the volume on this so you can get as big and glam as you want. There's a beautiful velvet piece right at the front with a hidden weft for a more natural looking hairline, open wefts on the top, sides and back. There's that oval piece of monofilament that's gonna give you the look of natural scalp and also where the hair parts will look more natural. Open wefts on the sides and back, just a standard nape with Velcro style adjusters. Um, there is a velvet ear tab right there with lots of fibers spliced in. This cap is really well done. It does fit average to average large, so I did have to cinch it in to accommodate a petite average circumference, and I could probably even take it in a little bit more. This is a true Henry Margu type fit. So this hope is brand new, right out of the box. It hasn't been worn. I gave it a gentle shake and the, just a swirl to kind of wake up the movement of the fiber. I did have a little bit of wonkiness right there at the front due to box hair, just how it was laying in the box. So I suggested if that happens that you just wet it down, uh, put it into place how you want it and allow it to dry and it should wake up just perfectly for you. So let's go ahead and just manipulate this to give you inspiration to style your wigs and toppers, but also to give you a sense of the movement and the density and the beauty of this style. Everybody have a great day. We'll see you soon right here on Taz's Wig Closet.
Thank you.